What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another quick tips video for Hyperspin. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to disable any games that don't have wheel art from showing up on your on your menu or your wheel. So basically if you go to something like PlayStation 2 which doesn't have all of the artwork available for all of the games. So we're going to go in there and take a look. You can see that for example this game here does not have a wheel available and uh you know like all of these here do not as well and basically this is just a way to make it so that those uh don't show up you you're basically filtering out those games that don't have a wheel now why would you want to do this so basically you know if you don't really care about some of these games that don't have wheels and you want to keep your your wheel looking nice and clean with only artwork that would be one example of why you would want to do this. Um, also, let's say you have um, some people coming over and you want to just show them like the best representation possible of your system. Um, you know, you can do this as well and then it'll hide anything that does not have artwork and show only all the pretty pictures and videos and stuff like that. Um, now, of course, there's a side effect to that and that you're not going to see all of the games that you have available. So, you know, all of these will be hidden. So it'll be as if you don't even have those games. But normally all of the heavy hitters, all of the more popular games uh, will have wheel art and, and most of the other artwork available for them. So it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, it's just a nice little quick tip for you guys. If you want to do something like this, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and exit Hyperspin. She's going to go over to the toolkit and I'm going to do exit to windows. Use this option. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open up hyper HQ from my shortcut here. And you want to go to wheel settings up here on the tabs. And then you want to go to navigation slash themes. And you just select the system that you want to make the change to. So I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to select Sony PlayStation 2 for this example. And then right here, you want to go to the navigation uh, slash themes tab. Okay, right here. And here you have your wheel filters. So basically all you do is you check off wheels only. And then obviously that is going to show you only games that have wheels. Now you can also do the themes only option, but that's really going to like narrow it down quite a bit because there are a lot of games that don't have uh, themes uh, more so than games that don't have wheels. All right. So parents only and ROMs only, you don't have to worry about that stuff. Uh, not with my systems anyway, but uh, for other uh, people that have uh, your own setups that you've put together yourself, uh, basically, parents only is for something like MAME, which, uh, you know, has clones of different games. Um, and if you select parents only, it'll hide all the clones and show you only the parents. But on my systems, you don't have to worry about that. So, yeah. So now that we've selected wheels only, you can go ahead and close Hyper HQ. And if we start Hyperspin again and we go back to PlayStation 2, you're going to see that now all of those games that don't have wheels are no longer there. So let's go down to place or I should say up to PlayStation 2. And there you go. All of the games that don't have wheels are now hidden and you have a, a nice uh, wheel full of artwork for every single game. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and do drop me a comment down below. If you can if you enjoyed the video, if you have any suggestions for future videos. And I'll see what I can do about that. I'll see you guys on the next one.